How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our fighting game. In this lecture, we're going to be adding our player. I'm excited to be doing this lecture because now we can actually get started. So the first thing we're going to do is on our game layout, we're going to double click to insert a new object. We're going to go to our sprite object and then we're going to click again. We're going to hit open or load an image from a file and we're going to navigate to in our fighting game assets folder which you downloaded in the resources tab. And if you didn't do that already, you can download it in this resources tab as well. We're gonna to go to our character and we're going to go to our idol. Now, this is one way of doing it, but since we wanna import all of these, we're gonna actually do it a different way. But for right now, we're just gonna double click and have an image there. So let me exit out of this now. Let me zoom in. And now we can see that this is our player. So let's call it our object underscore player. Now, we have a few things that we have to do. The first being, let's put this into our folder structure. So if you don't have the free version of Construct 2, don't worry about this. But if you do, what we're going to do is we're gonna drag it and put it into our Entities folder in the Objects window. And if you don't have the Objects window open, then you can go to the View tab in the ribbon and you can hit Object Bar. Then we're gonna go into our Entities folder and we're gonna drag it into our Player folder. And there we go. Now it's nicely organized into our Entities Player folder. Okay, now that's step one. Step two is we're going to actually cut this out. So we're gonna hit Control X. That's What that's going to do is it's going to save it. So when we hit Add New Layer up here in our Layers bar, and we lock the bottom layer, we're gonna to go to layer one and we're gonna hit control V and then click to paste it. So we're gonna rename layer one to become our entities layer. I'm gonna make it in all caps as well. Okay, so now we have our entities layer and we have our entities folder, which has our player in it. So now you can kind of see what's going to go into our entities folder and into our entities layer. So this is good, but now we need to set up our player a little bit more. So let's put a behavior to it. Let me click on it to make sure that I get its properties. And let's go to behaviors. Now in the behaviors panel here or the window, what we're going to do is we're gonna add a new one and we're gonna look for the platform behavior. So let's click platform. And we're gonna add one more behavior to him for now. We're gonna come back and add some more, but the other one is gonna be bound to the layout. So we're gonna hit bound to layout, and there we go. So now what we need to do is, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see where our player is in the grand scheme of things. Let's put it like right around here. And we can put it outside our window, it's okay. But actually, since we don't have a camera, let's leave it inside the window so we can see it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our player behaviors, and we're gonna turn down the speed. So the max speed is just too quick for right now. We're gonna put it down to 100 so we can move a little bit more realistically. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna take our jump strength from 650 and we're gonna turn it to zero altogether. That means we're just gonna turn it off. We're not gonna have a jump at the moment and we don't have one planned for this game, but of course you can always add one. So we're just gonna turn that off altogether to begin with. And then the last thing we're going to do is we will be turning off our default controls, but for testing purposes, we'll leave it on for right this second. Let's lock this layer and let's add a new one. Now, we're already at the third layer limit, or we're already at third out of uh, three out of four. There we go. We're at three out of four for the actual free version of Construct 2, but I promise that we won't go over four for you. But we will be adding a bunch of other layers for those who have the personal edition or greater to make this game just a little bit better. So here's what we're going to do. On this new layer, we're going to rename this one to become our floor and we can also say collision. There we go. So now we have our floor and our collision. So let's double click and let's add a tiled background and let's click again. Now let's load an image from our file. Let's go to our assets. Let's go to our levels and we're gonna pick the ground over here and we're gonna exit out. So now you're gonna see that this ground object kinda is tiling vertically. So let's put it all the way down until we match it horizontally or as close as we can get and let's drag this over here. So now we actually have our floor object. So let's call this object floor, and let's put that into our level, just like that. So now our level has our object floor. Now we're getting there. You know, Now we have a actual platform for our character to go on. So if I hit play, and it loads up here, 
you you couldn't even see because it already just completely fell through the platform and it's not even in the actual window size so without a camera object it's going to only show a little bit of it but there we go and what we need to do is we need to actually make a collision object so let's lock our entities layer let's double click and let's make a new sprite and let's color it in so let's take the paint bucket tool I usually make it red color and then I turn down the alpha from 255 to 155 and I paste that in or paint it in and there we go. But now you can see that it's kind of ginormous. But first what we're going to do is call this our object collision. And since we set our player to be bound to the layout, we don't need to put vertical collisions anywhere. We just need to take care of our horizontal collision. So let's try to match this with this height. And you can see here that our height is at 60. So let's go down here, change the size, the height from 250 to 60. And now what we can do is we can stretch it out like this. But you're gonna notice one thing, and that's because we don't have a grid turned on. So here's what you're gonna notice. The snapping of these objects is kind of important. So what we're going to do is we're gonna turn show grid on, and we're gonna say snap to grid. And now if I tried to do it, it's going to snap to the grid, but it's not going to be the way I want it to. Right now it's snapping to the middle, but you can see right here how this is a little bit offset from the side that I want it. And to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually double click on our collision, go to our origin points, and I'm gonna right click, quick assign to the top left, and I'm gonna exit out. So now I can actually match this perfectly, or as close as I need it to be. So there we go. And we can actually minimize this floor just a little bit more. So now we actually have a floor. And when I hit play, we can actually see that I have a floor, but I actually don't collide with the floor at all. So on our collision object, what we're going to do is we're gonna add the behavior of solid. And then we need to do one more thing. And that is we need to go down here and the initial visibility of our collision object needs to be invisible. So now if we hit play, we can actually stop moving there and there we go. But now we still have one more thing that we need to fix here, and that is our player's feet are kind of over where they need to be. They need to, cl uh, to collide as close as possible. And so what we're going to do to fix that is the same exact thing. We're gonna go into our player, and actually let's take our collision object and let's put that into our level. Let's go into our entities and into our player, then double click it, and let's zoom in so we can see where we are. Let's go to our origin point, which I'm already on. Let's quick assign it to the bottom. And let's also double check our collision. So this is our bounding box, and this is pretty much a mask. So if you're used to Game Maker Studio, or if you're used to Unity, or just any programming language, whether it be ActionScript or uh, Java, anything, you're going to usually have a mask when it comes to doing 2D programming. And Construct2 makes it easy by using this uh, collision polygon. And this lets us drag this all around and whatnot so we could get really cool shapes and we could probably get really close to this actual player's shape. But what we want to do is we want to be pretty general with it. So we're going to right click on it and set it to the bounding box. So it's just going to be a box for our mask. Now, certain situations, you're going to want it to be a little bit less than a box, but for pretty much everything, you kind of want it to be a box. So we know where the collisions are from the get go. So let's hit play again. Let's bring it over here. And there we go. Our collisions are fixed and our origin point is fixed. And now we're walking at the right speed. So that is how we are going to set up our player. I hope you learned a lot from this lecture and I will see you in the next one.